Hello everyone! I am very excited for today's video and I think you will be too once you hear what it is. Today I'm going to be doing my 100 subscriber giveaway. Now I've never done a giveaway on my channel before. I've been waiting to get to the 100 subscriber mark. It took me a long time, quite a bit longer than a lot of other people I'm sure, but I finally got there and I'm so thankful and grateful for all of my subscribers and to have reached that milestone that was a goal of mine. So I went out and I picked up items for the giveaway and I'm going to tell you what those are. And then if you're interested in entering, I'm going to leave a link below. I'm going to be using a generator because when I've entered YouTubers giveaways, I find that to be the easiest way. So that's how I'm going to go about it. If you are under the age of 18, please make sure to get your parents' permission before entering. Also, since it is my first ever giveaway, I'm only going to keep it open to the U.S. Sorry for any of you that don't live in the U.S. And if this goes well, I will try to do future giveaways that I open up internationally. But since it's my first time ever doing it and I want things to go smooth, I'm going to keep it just in the U.S. for now. You do have to be subscribed to my channel in order to enter, but all of the information on what you need to do will be included with that link. Before we jump into what is in the giveaway, I did just want to let you know that it's a very nice day outside today and our house gets a little bit hot, so I've got the windows open to let some fresh air in, so hopefully it won't get too noisy or affect the light too much. Also, if I keep checking the viewfinder, it's because I don't want my microphone battery to die and to have to do this again for you, so I may keep looking there to check that periodically. But enough blabbering on for me, let me just tell you what I got for the giveaway. So I wasn't quite sure what would be good for a 100 subscriber giveaway. I don't make any money off of YouTube. It's a hobby of mine that I enjoy but not my job or career or anything like that. So I obviously paid for all of this with my own money. So I kind of aimed for a price range that I wanted to spend, but I wanted to get a variety of items. I know everybody isn't into makeup, but that's a lot of what my channel is. So I wanted to get things that I personally thought that I would enjoy using or I have enjoyed using and share those with you. Oh, I didn't say there is only going to be one winner this time, but again, if you want me to do more giveaways in the future, then please let me know in the comments down below. You can just type more giveaways or let me know what you'd like to see in future giveaways and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. So I think I'll just go store by store, starting with Bath and Body Works. I picked up one of their hand lotions. The scent is Honolulu Sun, a very nice summer scent. And I kind of prefer the Ultra Shea body creams that come in this packaging as opposed to their standard body lotions that come in their, you know, clear packaging. But yes, this is a tropical scent. Uh, it says the notes are fresh island coconut. And I think you know I love coconut. Pacific Palm. Ocean Air Accord, sun-drenched citrus, and white sand musk. Then the other thing I got was a bath bomb. You know I love my baths and my bath bombs, and I honestly have not tried the Bath & Body Works bath bombs yet. I only, you know, know the Lush ones, and I tried ones from Basin, which is a store at Disney World, but haven't tried the Bath & Body ones, so if you're the winner, please let me know how it works out but this is in the scent Endless Weekend, and I'm curious to see how well they fizz and if they turn your bath a certain color, but it should smell good. So those are the items from Bath and Body Works. So I also went to CVS to pick up a few things. The first thing being a blush palette, and it's the e.l.f. blush palette in light. I preferred those colors, and I've heard a lot of people say that they really like this palette. It's a really good palette, so hopefully you will too. And then, this wouldn't be an Erin Broadman giveaway without 
lip products because you know that is my favorite so I had to pick up some lip products for you the first being a Milani because I do like the Milani lipsticks and this is in the color Dulce or Dulce I don't know the proper pronunciation Caramello number 27 and I tried to go with more neutral colors that I thought everybody would like because while I don't mind my bright lips I know that's not for everyone, so I tried to go with more neutrals that I thought people would enjoy. And the other is a Maybelline lip color because I also really like the Maybelline lip colors, and this is their Color Sensational line, and this is in the color Pink Wink, and it's number 105. Obviously, I'm not going to swatch them for you because I want to keep them brand new, for whoever's going to win them. And the final thing I got at CVS was a clear lip gloss because everybody needs a clear lip gloss. And this is from Rimmel and it's their Stay Glossy. I don't believe I've personally tried this, but I've heard people that like it. And I read reviews and it said it's not supposed to be sticky, so hopefully that's true. But again, if you win, you can let me know. So that was everything from CVS. Sticking with the drugstores, I also got some things at Walgreens. This also would not be an errand giveaway without nail polish. And I went with Sinful Colors because I think it's a lesser known brand, but it's a really good brand. Quality polishes, they last really long, as long if not longer than high-end brands. And they have a very nice variety of colors. So when I chose these, I tried to go with colors that not only I would like, but that I thought were nice and summery. So there's a pink that's called 24-7, and then more of a coral color that's called Thimbleberry. Then the final item that I picked up at Walgreens is again one that I have not tried, but is a newer product that I've been hearing a lot of hype about so I thought you could test it out for me. It is from L'Oreal, and it is their Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And I got it in black because I figured that was the best option between brown and very black. Now this is being compared to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's obviously not as expensive as that one, but it's supposed to be a dupe for it. Even the packaging is very similar to the Too Faced one. And from what I've been hearing on YouTube, some people even prefer this one to the Too Faced. But it says 91% saw intense and volumized lashes, 98% lengthening effect, 87% saw more beautiful lashes. So I'm curious to see if it's as good as people are saying and if it really is a dupe for Too Faced. I went to Sephora and picked up one of my personal favorite items, which is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. I figured this would be a good mask for almost anybody. It's really easy to use. It feels great going on at night, especially after you get out of the shower, something like that. But anytime that your skin might feel dry or tight and, and needs a little something, this is very nice to put on. You just put it on at night, go to sleep in it, you don't have to rinse it off or anything, and I find it works great. I was really only using it in the winter, but the past few weeks I've been pulling it out even though it's warm out, and it is still working great on my skin, even though I'm hotter and sweatier and a bit more oily than usual, it's still working great. So that is also part of the reason that I picked it up, because it's not just winter, you can use it year round. So. Hopefully, you will love it as much as I do. The final items for the giveaway I got at Ulta. The first being one of my favorite body scrubs, which is from the Tree Hut brand, and it's their Shea Sugar Scrub, and this is in Tropical Mango, and I haven't personally tried this scent, but it sounded interesting to me, so I thought that you might like to give it a try, but it's a great scrub for exfoliating your skin. They sell it at Ulta, Target, a bunch of different places, so that I wanted to share with you. The final item I think is one of the more exciting items, and it's a eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution, and it's their Mermaids Forever eyeshadow palette. And the reason I picked this one is because 
I looked at a bunch of their different palettes online, and this one seemed to have quite a variety of colors from light to dark, which I personally like. I'm not one of those people that loves a palette that's all browns or all neutrals. So this seemed to have a good mix of light and dark colors and warm and cool tones. It probably leans a little more cool tone because that's what I'm typically drawn to but it has 32 different shadows in it and it looks like some of them are matte and some of them are shimmer which I thought was also a good combination and I've never used Makeup Revolution shadows, but hopefully they work out well. So that is everything that I have picked up for this 100 subscriber giveaway. Again, thank you so much for being my subscribers, for watching my videos. It really means the world to me and I appreciate it so much. And this is my way of showing my appreciation to you. So I hope that you will enter. Again, make sure you are subscribed in order to enter and let me know what you would like to see in future giveaways. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.